What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back to episode number 17 of Elden Ring. In episode number 16, we started out by assaulting an encampment of those who stood no chance and took possession of an inferior shield, but daddy's got a loot, so whatever. We then explored a bit, and on the remains of what looked like a giant withering away in the grass, we found a new talisman, the Lance Talisman, which increases your damage from horseback, and I will never equip it, so feeling cheated, I decided that entering the Death Touch Catacombs was the only course of action, and deep within, my lust for violence would be satiated with what I deem the easiest boss fight in the history of the Souls franchise, the Black Knife Assassin. After defeating this golden pile of excrement with our spirit jellyfish at our side, we were rewarded with the Assassin's Crimson Dagger, which ironically isn't a dagger, but a talisman that restores HP on crit hits. We then saved a jar with arms that goes by the name of Alexander, who had become lodged in the dirt by thrusting my spear deep into his back spot. And overjoyed, this little turd burglar thought the only right course of action was to reward me with some exalted flesh and then leave to head to some cursed, rotted land to the east. After bidding Pottery Barn goodbye, we then found ourselves in the land of giants slaying one after another like I was stuck behind them in my car and they just sat through a green light on my lunch break. And just when all had fallen and I was breathing a sigh of relief, out of nowhere, a giant death bird with a porcelain head dropped from the sky and I was forced to send this cursed creature back where it had come from. That was all in episode number 16. If you guys want to go back and check it out, episode number 16, this is 17. And I'm ready to rock today, boys. Let's jump right in. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, if you guys are liking the videos, thumbs up. If you dislike them, thumbs down. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you got to do is spear the sub button and the little bell notification icon. And you guys will be notified when the next episode goes live. So do it. Now, we explored this whole section. Actually, let me, it'd be easier to show you on the map here. We explored this whole area over here. This is all explored with the exception of this bridge right here. Um, so I, I don't know if we ever did look out. No, you know what? This is too high. We can't actually see out to the edge of this bridge. Um, but we did explore everything over here all the way up to this point of the bridge where there's a mad pumpkin head just chilling out. And, um, we still have not explored this whole section. So from, um, I think this is the top up above. Yeah, this is right up above like the church of Ella. And the, yeah, the Grooveside Cave, Stormfoot Catacombs, where uh, in episode one, we did some work. So I'm thinking we will come along um, this entire section here and see what is up here. This actually, I don't, it doesn't look like it's that big of an area. This shouldn't take too long. Looks like it is nighttime now. Yeah, it's late night. Late night. Must be a load zone there. Every time we go by there, we get a uh, little bit of a frame drop. I'm guessing it's a load zone. So this is the ROAD coming up from the gate front runes. And there is all this out here to explore. It's like there's a skull. Break it, take it. Um, you know what? Let's head this way and we'll work our way around to the left after. Is there anything up here? Just some craftable herba stuff and things. see any not much in the way of items out here this might be a pretty dead area over here at least it's feeling that way right now got that oh what do we have here it's a bunch of jellyfish hey ironically we have one of those that is what our spirit summon the jellyfish uh the spirit jellyfish looks like so we have one of those the spit they spit blood. Uh, <laughs> I already know their secrets. They spit blood at you. Um, now, we have fought these things before, but they don't appear to be... Like, they're not aggressive. They're not aggressive at all. Oh, there's an item. Um, there's something coming up from the ground. It's a dead guy. Make it dead. Make it deader. -er. You know what? Let's hop off here. Oh. 
got it. Loot, human bone shard. Only fitting that you would get a human bone shard from a human skeleton. Makes sense. Um, pillage remains. Smithing stone times one. Wow, that was... We came a long way for that, and I gotta admit, I feel cheated. Ripped off. Um, garbage. Literally gave us garbage. Ooh, I'm looking down. That is terrifying. Mm. Torrent, come, friend! Pretty sure I just took out someone's headstone. I don't see anything else up here. We'll move to the right some and see what is over to the right. But we'll explore this over by the cliffside first. Systematically working my way through this area. Okay, so these ones are all white. Those ones are red. I'm guessing those are going to be mad at us if we get too close. I'm thinking those are hostile. And I don't care. Because whatever they're guarding, I'm going to take it. It's clearly an item behind him. I'm doing this. Oh, they all just turned red. Magic Grease. All right. We found Magic Grease before, so that uh, makes your weapon, it coats your weapon in um, a magical, allows you to do magical damage with it. Um, another item, Godric Soldier Ashes. Brand new ashes. Nice. Ow. I'm getting spit at. Godric Soldier Ashes. Let's get to a safe spot and we'll read this. These ones ain't mad at me. These ones are cool. These are the bro jellies. All right, Godric Soldier's Ashes. Um, ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of two Godric, two of Godric's soldiers. Really? Really? Just out of nowhere, a boar comes up. Where was I? Um, a duo of spirits consisting of a wielder of devastating charged hammer attacks and the vanguard and the crossbowmen bringing up the rear. The soldiers who serve Godric, the grafted, are what remains of the army that fled the royal capital of the Erd Tree. So there's that name Godric again. Godric. Um, so Kenneth Hyatt, next in line for the throne of Limgrave, as I hear, <laughs> or as he would tell you, Kenneth, the great Kenneth Hyatt, <laughs> he said that name before. He said that this guy needed to die, I do believe, was his words. Um, okay. Again, I just find, yeah, okay. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Hey. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I thought for sure I was going off the edge there. I'm just going to give up that fight because I don't want to die. We have like 18,000 runes on us too right now, which is probably dumb to be just strolling around on the edge of a cliff. What's this? Starlight shards. Uh, we have already found starlight shards in the past. That um, I believe is like getting a spell with. I believe you can use your FP to send forth like a shard of magic, and you don't actually have to have a spell. So it's like using a spell without learning a spell. If that makes any sense. Bunch of bats on the side here, just hanging out. I <laughs> get it because we're hanging. Can we get up here. Yes, we can. Oh, there's an item up here, too. Um, cross legs. It's a new, uh, a new gesture. Nice. Not a whole lot on this side. I will say that. I thought there was going to be much more here. Kind of mellow over here. Not even a bunch of stuff trying to kill you. So we're right up above the Limgrave catacombs. Is that wait? No, it was Stormfront catacombs. That's down below us. We're right up above it. Um, let's just check in this open field. Make sure nothing's hiding out in here. There's just so many spots for them to hide uh, items, and you could go buy them and think you've explored everything, and really you haven't. Look at how angry those red jellies are. Red jelly! 
don't see anything out here. Looks pretty low key. All right, we're back to the road now. Excuse me. That just thing tried to tried to pinball me. Um, wolves. Ow. Thank you. Why did I lock on? I have no idea. Never lock on while you're on horseback. Oh. <gasps> Look down there. Okay, so we've seen this before. One time before, there's these things all pointing towards a singular spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call these things ball worms. Okay, I don't know what they're called. These little ball worm deal things. Um, we entered something called the, I believe it was the Forlorn Hound. Um, Everglow, Evergold, Gale, Evergale. That's what, that's the name of it. Forlorn something, uh, Hound Evergale. And we fought a boss in there. I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen here again. I hear some twinkling. Is there one of the, oh, yep. Right there. Hey, wait a minute. What a rip off. I can't, I can't hit that thing. Can I? Oh, I think I can. He just not, he's, he knows. Take that. Ow. Got him. Boy, I should have drank before that. I'm dumb. I'm super stupid. Um, there's something off to the left here too. So yeah, I think there's going to be a boss fight in here. Storm Hill Ever go go Gale. Ever Ever Gale. That's what that's the word I'm using. I don't know how to pronounce that. Listen, I'm not a great pronunciator. Er. Um, I don't see nothing else out here. Let's go check out. I think we're going to get in a boss fight here. I think we're going to have a boss fight. So before we do that, um, let's work our way around check and make sure there ain't anything else left for us to loot in this direction knock it off ah, knock it off okay well that's great uh, what is this over here oh we have one of those dudes screaming and see what it gotcha all right what is this ah come here no 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 there we go we got our drink back that's awesome again i should have drank before i got my drink back it almost, I, at this point, I'm starting to feel like I need to really concentrate on just staying at full health all the time because we end up getting those drinks back all the time and I'm already full and I haven't even used one. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Arrows reach talisman. What is this? I'm guessing it extends the reach of how far you can shoot your bow. Increases bow effective range. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I guess if... I ever decide I want to use just bows, that's what I'll use. AKA, I'm never going to use that, is what I'm saying. All right, so it looks like it's boss fight time. It appears we're going to have ourselves a boss fight. Um, is there a... Is there a stake of America near here? Yes, there is. Straight ahead of us. Okay, so there is a stake of America here. I guess we're going to do this. I guess we are going to make this happen. Um, I wonder if we're going to be able to use our summons in here too. All right, let's do, um, let's go through. Enter Evergale. Yes. And then right away, we're going to use this to buff. And it does not look like we can use our spirit ashes here. So... Wood. Okay. This guy's got a big old shield on him. Um, I think I'm going to do... Whoa. Easy, bud. Whoa. 
Oh, that sword comes down. What a reach. Oh my God. You know what? My mobility will be your death, buddy. Whoa, what was that that he just did? He just did like a stomp on the ground. Whoa, this guy is relentless. This guy is relentless. was that whoa that was nuh uh no so he has a stomp that he does that like brings up rocks beneath you that's crazy um we can't forget we have this as well you know what we're gonna drink this right that was dumb oh my god that is brutal drink that is it that's all we got that is brutal oh no i think this is it it's not that complicated of a move set he just has a ginormous reach there he did it again every time you get close he does that oh that's brutal you know what i think i feel like uh probably dodging towards him is going to be the play steak of america without a doubt steak of america yeah i think dodging towards him is going to be the is going to be the play um it left our our uh what do you call those um our runes outside which is really awesome all right, let's uh, let's give this another go. I think I'm gonna two hand. You know what I almost want to do is head back to the. I almost want to go back, spend up our uh, our runes, and switch over to that holy version of this uh, of the attack that you can do. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over there real quick. It should only take one second. I will meet you guys over there, and we'll do the change out. All right, Raga Nation, we are back at the site of grace. Um, let's sit down. We're going to go ahead and do a level up. It looks like we have uh, another two levels that we can probably use. Um, I think we're going to go two into faith. I think we're going to go faith because our weapon is now scaling off of faith. So we want our faith to really start. Uh, we got to really start bumping it. Um, I guess we could go with vigor as well, though. You know what? Let's go two into vigor. We're going to bring vigor up to 30 and then we'll start concentrating on the other things. That leaves us with only 200 remaining. Um, let's go Ashes of War. And on this, let's actually change our Ash of War out to the Sacred Spear. Um, we're going to try the Sacred Spear now. Or not Sacred Spear. What is the name of that? Um, oh, Sacred Blade is the Ash of War that we're using. So, with that being done, um, let's go. I will meet you guys back at the boss fight. Let's go! All right, Rocket Nation, we have made it back over here to the boss fight again. Um, so now at our current amount of FP that we have, we can use our Sacred Blade. I believe it was four times. And then we have a refill, too, with our FP. Uh, what is that? The Cerulean Tears, Flask of Cerulean Tears. Um, so I feel like we now have a ranged way of fighting him as well, so we don't have to be all up in close on him. Let's give this a go. Enter it. Yes, we only have 272 ruins right now, so we've got pretty much all of them spent. I'm going to bum rush this guy, too, uh, on top of everything else. And it, no. Whoa. All right, now let's back up. I didn't even get it off. Oh, there's that stomp. my god that has such a big reach that is an insane reach on that you know what can we just bail it and then just use it here oh that didn't do anything i think it's because he's got his shield out
So that filled up our entire bar of FP. Trying to time it just right. This guy has a very peculiar move set, without a doubt. Oh, he put it up right then. Drink. Oh, no. That is a brutal attack right there. That has got a very, very long reach. All right, drink. No. Every time I drink, he gets that hit in. We were able to avoid that. Okay. Oh, what did he just... Good Lord, no. Okay. Drink now. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to hit me. Oh, no way did he hit me with that. No way. Whoa, he's got a tail? Did he just tail whip me? Drink. That's 50% of our HP right there refilled. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, drink again. This guy is tough. This guy is a hard fight. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. Okay, that hurt a lot, I'm dead. Oh, I thought for sure he was gonna hit me with that. He did hit me with that now, awesome. Oh, I should have went after him there. my god this guy is incredible the crucible knight is an incredible fighter um really has got all of the bases covered steak of america please all right uh looks like it's gonna be death montage time let's go <laughs> let's learn here we go oh, died And dead all right rocket nation we made up change again uh i just want to let you guys know before we go in for this fight we have switched back to the golden vow so the golden vow I, again i'm not going to be using the shield at all during this fight so let's jump in here let's see if the golden uh the golden vow might be able to help us out some Whoa, what was that? Wow. Oh my God. I have no words for this fight. Crucible Knight is a cheater. That's all right. Unbelievable, man. This stomp has been the bane of my existence. If it's not the stomp, then it's the tail. If it's not the tail, then every time I drink, it's him crossing the entire map to come and bash me. Let's make some more of those, and uh, we'll hold on to those until the second half of the fight, I guess. We'll get him to the second half of the fight, and then we'll try the firebombs thereafter. I don't know how much I have to craft, but...
I need to break his guard before the second half of this fight. Oh my goodness, both of them missed. actually hit me. All right, do a double drink here. Now firebomb up. is so stupid. Drink. both hit me. All right, let's sprint away. And then this. Aspects of the Crucible Tale. I can't believe how many times it took for us to kill that thing. Forget that thing. That night, he had a counter for everything. I'm glad he's dead. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad he's dead. He deserved it. Holy cow, what a fight. Man, that probably took close to 30 times to kill that thing. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Thank God that's over. Thank God that is over. Man, that was so many attempts. Hopefully I put together a great death montage for you guys because that literally took forever. <laughs> I can't believe how hard that thing was. Like it had a counter for every single thing that I did. Like if I pressed a button at the exact same time, that enemy was pressing a button that was a perfect counter for what I was doing. That was literally stupid. And uh, I'm glad it's over. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> wow. My palms are sweaty. It was, that was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. Let's sit down. So I think we unlocked that thing's tail attack. Ashes of War. Um... No, does it not? Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? We just, we got it, didn't we? Ashes of War. Is it only a weapon? Is it only for a weapon? What the, where'd it go? Um, I'm so confused. Is it, do we lack what we need to equip it? Maybe that's it. Yes, that is it. We need 27 faith. <laughs> wow. You know what I just noticed too? We got like 
2,000 runes for killing that guy. That's it. 2,000. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. I absolutely hate this game. <laughs> From soft, I hope you catch a disease. I don't mean that, but I mean it. Wow. Um, <laughs> an unbelievable fight. So the only way now is up this direction. Um, I, I was going to end it here, but you know what? Let's see what's up ahead. We have a couple of enemies here. Fight me. Fight me, filthy animals. Yeah, come after me. Really? Okay. Okay. We'll take that. A mushroom. Some bolts. Um, now we have not gone up here, have we? I don't think we have gone up in this direction to explore. Nothing over there. We can get on top of that building. What? Oh, God. That was so close. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do it. Like, I already know it's going to happen. Um, what is that? Oh, that bat. That was bats. I like how I just broke my English there. Like, that bats. <laughs> oh, man. I just can't. I, I, that was an unbelievable boss fight. Like, I really wish I could express to you guys how frustrated I was at one point. Like, I literally felt like I was gonna I was gonna smash my face off my keyboard at one point um anything down here oh this leads to the uh where we were before down below you think you could got it and I didn't even get to loot it <laughs> oh that was pointless all right, there's some bats up underneath the bridge here. All right, let's see what's under where the bats are protecting. Um, where was that, right here? Yeah, this was right here. Yeah, there's that bat. Oh, now you want to come down. Now you, oh, what the, like that. Another one still up there, ain't there? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what it is. Oh, my goodness. There's just so much to explore. Everywhere I turn, there's more. What is this item on the ground? Lump of flesh. You think I'm scared of you and your little screams? You know what I just, you know what I just conquered? Okay. I'm okay. I'm scared. I'm now scared. Can I please get up? That would be amazing. Uh, really? I almost got killed by bats. I'm a, I'm a wee bit ashamed of ra what just happened there. Um, got an item there. I think I just heard the twinkling of a scarab. I don't see it. Must be a load zone there. A little bit of a frame drop. What? bridge here it's like it's broken though um who are you hello you please i can read them your fingers please your fingers um show hands oh bless you Oh. Oh. Wow. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at 
the grand lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only... Why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall? Okay. You... Please, I can hurt your finger. Oh, head, head to the Foundation, foundation of Gold. Of Traverse Rhea Lucaria. Okay, she's repeating herself now. That, uh, wow. Horrible. Um, so we can't cross here. She said the bridge has collapsed, but there's an item here, apparently. <laughs> you, should, you were trying to steer me away from the item. Nomads, wait, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. That's number seven. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number seven. That's inventory keys. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number seven. Soft cotton. Um, stanching boluses and rainbow stone arrow. Super weird. All of those names are super weird. Oh, we can go down that way, though. We can go that way. I think, right? Should be okay to go down there. You know what? I don't... We're kind of getting off track here. Let's head up to the castle. Let's head up to the castle. We're going to head up towards the castle here and see what we can see up in this direction. I know this episode is getting kind of long now at this point. For me, it's been about an hour and 40 minutes before I was able to actually kill that horrible, horrible boss. Oh, oh look at, look at. I think this one's going to give us a, uh, this one's going to give us an Ash of War. Um, there's enemies here. Oh my god, what was that? Oh my god, no. You little creep. I'm gonna die. I just keep getting... I keep getting hit by... Is this a ballista? I think this dude's shooting a ballista at me up top. Oh my... Look at all the pe... Okay, drink. It's time. It's time to take off. They're shooting arrows too? Awesome. All right, we got to take care of the arrow boys. The arrow boys got to die. Oh, he's right in with the boys too, though. Is there any more? What? I heard one over here. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Where in the heck is... Oh, is that... No, that's not him. I can't get it to lock on to anybody right now. It, that I want to. Who's next? Get them all dead. Yes. Godric soldier grieves. Herba. Some bolts. Is there anybody else left back here? So I think that little creature got away. I think he had an, uh, an ash of war on him too. Um, there's objects here, but there's clearly a guy up top with a ballista. Oh, there's a guy right here that we left. You're mine, punk. Here I come. Okay. Where is he? Right there's the ballista. Charge! There. Now that we got that out of the way, we have all of our drinks now, too. So that is a bonus. Um, I think he killed this guy down here that drops this item. Yeah, I think he totally killed him by shooting his boy with a ballista. Dude, expendable. See what happens? Should be on my side, where every life counts. Every life matters. Um, so before we go in the door there, 
Anything out here? I don't see anything. All right, looks like that's about it. Let's go in the dough here and uh, see what's inside. <laughs> just realized too, like it just dawned on me again that uh, I'm wearing a land octopus as a helmet. Yeah. Um, okay. Touch grace. You know what? That's actually perfect because this episode is getting quite long. Rocket Nation, thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Elden Ring. As always, if you guys are enjoying the videos, thumbs up. If you dislike them, thumbs down. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you got to do is click that sub button and the little bell notification icon and YouTube will let you know every time a new episode goes live. Thank you guys so much. As always, remember, life is short. Pause, save. And I will see you in the next episode.